be careful when you click on ads or sponsored posts with Google because you never know what they are or what they do. They could be taking screenshots of your computer. Google is giving you malware. And yes, you heard that right. Malware. Now, Google labels ads as sponsored in search results. So as you can see here, sponsored, it's going to have that little, the little sponsor tick right there. Or they can say ad, what does here at the top ad, you get the paid results, Google ads that people pay to be shown and then the organic results. So some people are paying to show malware. So this post by Ryan says, developers, please be careful when installing Homebrew. Google is serving sponsored links to a Homebrew site clone that has a curl command to malware. The URL for the site is one letter different than the official site. So this is Homebrew package manager. Click it, brew.sh. This is the actual Homebrew is just curling the homebrew install, downloading it using the curl command. From this image right here, homebrew clone malware site looks just like the URL we went to, right? But it is a clone and it serves up malware. The URL for the site is one letter different than the official site. So they took it down. So what do we do? Go to Wayback Machine. And the one letter different you see here is the brew e dot sh the little e right there that is how they get you and they have one on january 19th and then we click it and this is the malicious site you can see the curl command yeah you're getting homebrew but it's also doing all of this other stuff malicious site real site so it's trying to download a file, as you see, HTTPS, that URL, executing .x, and then saving it in the temporary file. So let us see. Let us go to this URL, this update file. Copy, paste, dangerous site, details, back to safety. So that doesn't work. But if we go to the Wayback Machine, throw that URL in there. Enter. And we have downloaded the homebrew file, aka the update file. So let us look at it in Virus Total and see what Virus Total has to say about this homebrew file, aka the update file being served from some random website. So as you can see, upload the file. Um it's saying Trojan.amos slash stealer, which Amos, Atomic Stealer, um, Info Stealer. And as you can see, 32 out of 62 security vendors flag this file as malicious. Lots of Trojan, Info Stealer stuff going on here. So I can see the details, the MD5, the SHA-1, the SHA-256, the submission history, the different names, malware do not run, brewery, macOS malware update, update text, up dare, again, changing, the letter a little executable file so it says execution of script located in potentially suspicious directory the temp directory system information discovery mac os scripting interpreter and usage of web request commands and command lists so let's see what happens when this puppy is ran as you all know this is just for educational purposes only to raise awareness and it's fun windows can't open this type of file internet explorer and then we have open with exe going on over there. Okay, so Internet Explorer, open. And there's the download. Open file, notepad. Apple.com identifier key, and our time was out. But as you can see over here, open with .exe, Amos has been found. There is a functionality for taking screenshot. Let's go. Read security settings of Internet Explorer and reads Microsoft Office registry keys. Um, yay. And it says the certificate is valid, but expired. And then we have this MS Edge one right here. Amos, more info. Yeah, it has been found. Application launched itself. Um, so that leads me to believe no user interaction right there. Just got a message from Defender. 
Apparently, Defender detects and removes this threat. Um, I figured so, but it just actively popped up, so I figured I would show it. Next one we are doing, OBS. Everyone knows what OBS is. Every YouTuber uses OBS. It's the open broadcaster software. Um, people use it for recording, streaming, uh, content creation, things of that nature. And another sponsored Google ad was serving OBS, but it was malware. So yay for Google. So we have OBS. This is the actual website. It is obsproject.com. But let us go back to the Wayback Machine. And as you can see, OBS Pro I set net again misspelling things to trick people so right here this is the clone website studio download for windows max linux yay let's download you can't zoom in but as you can see here download it obs studio full installer x64 so let's run that virus total 13 out of 57 flagged as malicious yay let's run an analysis on it this executable. Let's click it. The processes are starting to pop up in the process tree. For that one minute, we have all these processes. Um, so with this one, because it is the executable, this one we just saw in tvideo.exe. Executing a file with an untrusted certificate. Yay. Drops legitimate Windows executable. Let's drop C runtime libraries. Process drops Python dynamic module. An executable content was dropped or overwritten. So, some other processes. Reads the computer name, checks supported languages, reads the computer name, checks supported languages, creates files in a temporary directory. Microsoft Office.exe looks like stealing a personal data, creates files in the startup directory. Process uses ARP to discover network configuration, starts command.exe for command execution, and loads Python modules. Yay. Other ones. Checks proxy server information, reads the computer name, reads the machine GUID from the registry, checks supported languages, create files or folders in the user directory. Hell yeah. As you can see in this graph, um, I double click this one, but this is kind of the process flow of what is going on. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I enjoyed it. Looking at the processes of the different malware, the fake Google ads, uh, that nature. Um, Google is just serving malware, um, uh, the cloned website. So be careful when you click on ads or sponsored posts with Google, because you never know what they are or what they do. They could be taking screenshots of your computer. As you all know, this is just for educational purposes only to raise awareness and it's fun. So make sure to like, like, subscribe, punch subscribe button in the face punch the like button in the face, and I will see you in the next video.